Welcome to BMO Field in Toronto, where Toronto FC are set to play their 10th home game of this season, their 20th game of this MLS campaign. And boy, have they turned it around under Paul Mariner as we take a look at the starting 11. Ashton Morgan, Logan Emery, Richard Eckersley, Daniil Henry. This starting 11 brought to you by Adidas, which is all in. And speaking of in, Luis Silva up top with Ryan Johnson, of course, a very key player for Toronto FC. And for Oscar Pereja, the head coach of the Colorado Rapids, Matt Pickens, the goalkeeper, no surprise, he is the veteran. Brian Mullen, one of the real veteran players of this club as well. And Martin Rivero, who leads the team with six assists. Nice through ball, here's the chance for Silva. He's getting behind the keeper, held up, and the referee points to the spot. This could be interesting as well. The penalty's been given by the referee, but what is the referee going to show here? Is he going to show a card? Because potentially this could be red. Let's have a look at this. is sloppy defending from Colorado. We got used to that this season from them. They've been awful. That ball comes back. The grab to hold of was uh, Silva. The penalty was given rightly so. Great ball. And there's the ball through. Dangerous. Pickett's all over the place holding on to him all the way through. So it's Johnson now against Pickens, and Ryan Johnson's misfortunes continue. Set it in, and it's back out again for Torsten Frings. Brings it to the touchline. Frings makes his way around. He'll chip it in now. Here's a chance with the header falling back and unable to come through on that one was Ryan Johnson. Not only talking with him yesterday at training, but today before the game. They're not used to this three-game losing skid. They're not used to this losing period. Here's a shot blasted off the bar. Mullen with a bullet. What a strike that was. The University of Virginia product and Hunter Freeman. Get up! Mullen and Freeman connect. Right-footed cross what? coming Get into up! the box. Casey up for the header, and it's brilliantly tucked at the back post in the 23rd minute. And that's his second goal of the year, number 50 for his career. Well, great ball in the box. And Casey, this is his bread and butter here. He has no pace, but what he does is get a yard. He's strong in the air, great header of the ball, knows where the goal is. He does extremely well heading one in the back of the net. Look at this. He doesn't have to do an awful lot. He's on Henry's shoulder, just waiting for the moment, looking for the chance, shifts himself. Very strong, excellent work from Casey. That's what Colorado really needed. Connor Casey. Back into the box. Emery trying to hang on. And Milos Kosic does on that shot. Near post. Boy, quick release on that shot, too. Straight ahead now. Big Jamaican rumbles. He'll go into the box. He'll hope the cross comes from Silva. And there it is. And Johnson's head right at Pickens brought up any better but again the finish is all the Toronto and C's mission this is a gorgeous ball played in Toronto in trouble here and Milos Kosic saves the day Thompson from point blank range what we can't afford to do is go 2-0 down Kenya and I tell you Kosic does really well again standing up really big large he said that a few times this season Kosic saving the day here's Johnson drags with him behind Score! Fourth goal of the year in the 51st, and we're tied at one. Well, that's a big goal for Toronto FC on two fronts. One, tying the game at one, obviously. The second one, Ryan Johnson, after missing the penalty early on in the game, and only three game goals on the season, really needed a goal to get himself going, give himself some confidence, and he does well. He sticks with it. He's aggressive with his run, gets it out of his feet. Tidy little finish. One one's the score. Luis Silva. Nice underneath ball. Here's Torsten Franks. Can't get the shot away. That's how good Mullen is. That was brilliant defending. Desperation, but brilliant. Neil Henry's going to get another push now on this right flank. It's a nice move. How about Daniel Henry creeping into the box? Here's Silva touch. Deflected in. Wiedemann gets his first in red. And it's 2 1 TFC in the 68th minute. Well, it's about hard work in the corner. Daniil Henry, brilliant, gets out of the gates, has a little look up. Silva has a shot, hits Wiedemann, comes off the post and into the back of the net. 
All that starts from Duke. Really hard, aggressive play by Henry. Right there, brilliantly done. Nice little touch out the side of their left foot by Wiedemann. Puts it in the back of the net. Now Toronto FC with a 2 1 advantage. Morgan cross in. Just misconnecting. Dunfield, will he have a goal? Maybe now he will. Pickens digs it out. Eckersley said he missed the runs down the flank. He's got one now. A potential two on one if he can continue the break. Wing comes over and breaks up the pass. Smith give and go top of the box. There's a shot right at Milos Kosic and he'll parry it right back to himself. Hold on. Nothing over the bar. The referee, that's it, blows the whistle. Toronto FC have won three in a row, two in a row at home. Two unanswered goals in the second half.